Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Enter the Gungeon as the convict. Here, because here's the deal. The deal was that if I rolled BCDD 20T, I would play BCDD 20T. We rolled the convict, so we play as a convict. That is the rule of cool. And now we have the coolest character of them all, even more cooler than the coolest. I, I sure do love me some convict. Does the game seem loud to anyone else? I don't know why it feels a little loud to me, but I do believe that it is actually the correct volume. Hopefully it's not absurdly wildly loud. Maybe I just like accidentally affected my volume settings in Windows or something. I wouldn't be surprised. These volume settings in Windows keep getting changed at the drop of a hat, but oh, I didn't walk far enough away from the bullet. But at least for right now, it seems okay. Yo. Lowercase r? One of the... He's like, you don't, you better not hit that water barrel, you stupid bulletkin. But lowercase r, you know what? I'll take it. it seems like a pretty good weapon. Anyways, how, what, what was our last run of Gungeon? Our last run of Gungeon, I think it was the... Uh, oh, no, 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 the water barrel! I believe our last run of Gungeon was the... Uh, Cultist run? Oh wait, it was the Cultist run, and I believe we also had Arrgh! But that might have been like two or three runs ago, I can't remember. Oh man, I love the, uh, I love the Arrgh! Maybe I ax maybe what happened was I turned up the sound effect volume for Arrgh! and then I accidentally left it too high. I could see myself doing that. Well, I could see myself doing that if it was uh, not a lot of effort to do. I guess it's not really that much effort to do, but like, you get what I mean, right? Okay. The music is starting to get quiet because it's taking me so long to push this water barrel. <laughs> there we go, all right. Let's get back to the actual game now, shall we? But I'm excited to be playing El Convict today, as always. It's my favorite character. I love the sawed off. I love getting up and close, close, getting up and close and personal, what? with enemies and blasting them away. And I love muting myself so I can cough into the microphone. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it is today. I'm a I'm a bit on a I'm a bit on a coughing streak. Need to drink some water or something. I don't know. But I hope everyone's having a great day today. For me it's Saturday, which means that I'm approaching my weekend, because I don't get my weekend until tomorrow. And then what am I gonna do tomorrow? I don't know. Maybe I'll just watch like eight movies. <laughs> Maybe I'll watch the entirety of Lord of the Rings. I don't know. If I really wanna, you know, hurt myself that badly, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll watch all six Star Wars films. Maybe I'll watch, uh, I don't know. What's one of the worst long movie series that I can think of? Twilight. Maybe I'll watch all of Twilight. <laughs> Def, you could not pay me to watch that without the Rift Tracks commentary, though. Let me just say that right now. Ugh. I do feel like I'm, like I wanna just watch a whole bunch of movies lately. It must just be, have been because Oh, we gotta buy the key first. Might have just been because recently I watched a couple of movies with my housemate. We watched uh, a while back, a couple weeks ago, uh, what was it, PG? Uh, Psycho Goreman, which was really good. And then uh, we watched a couple of movies that we just wanted to watch. Uh, uh, we wanted to watch, it's like Chris's like favorite movies, like uh, Prince of Darkness and In the Mouth of Madness which uh, turned out to be better than I than I expected them to be. Oh uh, no, we haven't watched the second one. We only watched, in, in, in the, we watched one of them. We were gonna watch them both, but you know, that'll be TBD. But it, and honestly, I think the reason why I kind of want to watch another movie or watch more movies is just because it's honestly kind of just nice to hang out with people again, you know what I mean? Like, you know, the, the, it's my housemate, but still just kind of hanging out, chilling, getting a drink and and sitting on the couch and just kind of putting on a movie. It's nice, 
It's nice. It's nice to hang out and socialize with people that aren't on Twitch chat or YouTube comments. You know what I mean? Twilight TV series? There's a frickin' TV series? Oh, God, no. <laughs> that's, that's too much, man, that's too much. Now, the Tremors TV series, if I can find a, a place that streams that, oh, hell yeah. Cabbage Boxes says, you're wrong, but you can take comfort in the fact that Twilight sucks. I'm wrong about what? Because Twilight does suck. Heavily features that actress who's uh, known for essentially uh, showing no emotion in her line delivery at all. <laughs> Which is not to say that I I, I don't like certain deadpan deliveries. Um, what's the name of, Never mind. I, I immediately remember the name, but what I was gonna say is what's the name of the actress who played the um, uh, main lead female character in the film adaptation of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Answer. Ding. Dee -dee. Er, er, er. Sorry, the correct answer is who is Zoe De Chanel? Like her, she's got that nice deadpan face, but she can also, you know, evoke emotions when she desires, which is nice to have in, you know, an actress. Oh, the scope is so nice. Oh, hello. Dun, 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 dun. All right, now we have five hundred dollars. All right, I guess, you know, didn't really matter, no. I guess it did not really matter that I scrimped and saved trying to get enough money for the scope, because now we have infinite money. <laughs> oh God. Phoenix Lord says, I miss being able to go to theaters. I would like that as well. Drunker says, I thought you loved us, Abe. All right, forgot the context of that because that message was like a minute ago. <laughs> Wrong because you said Twilight is a movie series and Emily corrected you. No, tw um, Twilight is a, a movie series. It's not a television series, it's a movie series. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Well, I actually have the, fo uh, actually have the um, streaming website page open uh, right now. Hold on. What was I thinking? Isn't it Twilight? Twilight Zone. <laughs> That's something I haven't seen in a while. No, Twilight is a TV, is it, sorry. Twilight is a, um, a, I can't find it. Twilight is a, a, a movie series, right? There's like five movies, I think. Not that I would know or anything like that. Ugh! But it's like a series of five bad movies, right? Because Twilight Zone, yeah, Twilight Zone, dude, I would love to watch that. I haven't seen any of the new series of it. I, you know, the only Twilight Zone I've ever seen is like, you know, sci-fi channel late night marathons of like, you know, the old black and white version. Da, 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 da. Solder J says, I stepped away for two seconds and Abe has 500 gold, what? <coughs> Excuse me. You know what, Solder? All you gotta do is think to yourself, what items in Gungeon can give you 500 gold instantaneously? And the answer is not uh, Vampire Lady because that'll take way longer than, you know, two minutes to walk away from the screen, come back. I'll still be talking to her being like, suck more of my blood for money. I mean, she only gives you 20 on the first floor per suck, I think. So it would cost, it would take, um, it would take a long time <laughs> to get 500 gold. You'd have to do it like 25 times or something like that. It's a lot of sucking. Do 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 welcome. How are you doing? Zilligary, hello. How are you doing? Welcome. Welcome. Uh -huh. There we go. The one situation where a better accuracy 
is slightly annoying when you're trying to fight bullets. I'll still take it though. There we go. Um. <clears throat> Excuse me, oh my lord. But yeah, movies are good. <laughs> Should watch more of those probably at some point. If anyone has good recommendations that are easy to, to find on streaming services, I'd love to hear them. I'm still looking to try to figure out where I can watch the, uh, the other Tremors films. They like don't exist anywhere. I, I know I keep mentioning it, but it's like my, it's my, <laughs> Let's get very nerdy here. It's my my Szechuan sauce. It's like they removed it from Amazon right before I wanted to watch them again, and I can't find them anywhere. Do 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 do. NBC now has the Tremors TV series, but I can't. I didn't find it. I couldn't find it. I Google searched it. I couldn't find it. I don't know, maybe just gotta look look again. <laughs> By the way, bullet, 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 bullet. That's bullet, not mullet. What if there was a synergy that gave you like new a different hairstyle, and then this gun would say mullet instead of bullet, and be mullet, 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 mullet. Ow! Uh, extremely rude. There goes some water barrel in the distance. Oh, the water barrel in the distance was actually in this room. That was unexpected. Please reload. By the way, bullet. Um, yeah, otherwise, you know, I'm having a pretty good time. Would very much love to be able to, you know, hang out with people again. Maybe one day, we'll see it. Gotcha. Gotcha, bullet! No, 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 no. You can't buff anybody. I refuse to allow it. Also, I'm fighting the wrong end. Oh, you just barfed all over the fire on the ground, you stupid bulletkin. I hate these guys, I hate these guys. Rad gun plus letter R should be mullet mullet. Red. I don't know. I don't. I don't think a lot of skateboarders wear mullets. Maybe I'm, you know, just living in the wrong generation though. Although it could be a good synergy if uh, rad gun in, lower, in lowercase R said rad, cool. You know, when you're fired lowercase R, because you know, whack. Maybe if it maybe if it fires a whack, it does lower damage. If it fires a rad, it does more damage. I could get down with that. I could use more whack in my life. This guy's so strange. He like he doesn't fire at a continuous rate. Weirds me out sometimes. Current generation is just among us, says Jornger. <laughs> you hear that? That's fighting words, current generation. Are you gonna take that from Jorniker in chat? All right, finally, I got my sawed off again. Hell yeah. No, 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 come here. Get knocked in. I have one key. And it's not even wicked, hell yeah. Zane, welcome, you're gonna be lurking in the background. Well, lurk away, my friend. Oh. Okay, we'll buy both of those. Ah, oh, hey, we got the Clob, everybody. <laughs> if we really wanted to, we could get the Clob. It's clobbering time, oh yeah. Big iron, what the heck does this synergize with? Oh, scope, really? I did not think that this synergized with the scope. I mean, I kind of get it, because now instead of having that wide spread, it's a lot, you know, narrower, but still. 
I had no idea. That's great. It's great. Oh, man, that's also really good. It's like an upgraded, better, sawed-off shotgun. Let's use, um, I don't know, Helix. Phoenix Lord says, I'm too old to be affected by the games today. Affected by Among Us? <laughs> games are for everyone, man. Cabbage Boxes says, current generation is so bad I'm ashamed to have been born around the same time. You. I blame you. For the cringe of your generation. Ah! I didn't see where you're spitting your bullets. Got him. Dun, 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 dun. Got him. He's coming right for me. Um, I guess we're gonna go grab the crest. I really wasn't intending to grab it, but I like I I I I, I guess why not? Junkin? This would be the perfect time for Junkin. Get him. We already have the golden junk. We can get ourselves a a mecha Junkin immediately. Oh hell yeah. Excuse me, I, excuse me, wall, get out of the way please, thank you. Let's get the heck out of here. Silver Dirt, hello, welcome, how are you doing? You're gonna start watching the live streams. Well, hello, you're here. That's proof positive that you, you stand by your word, I suppose. Huntsman, I probably upgrade to the Huntsman now. Regardless, I hope you enjoy the uh, the continuing of the Gungeon for a million years. N will never end. Gungeon forever. Gungeon forever with a little heart. Uh oh. Excuse me. Yeah, good time to blow that up right before the enemy spawned. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, pardon me, apologies here. Pardon me for coughing in front of you like this, but that's what I call streamer privilege. Jorniker says, I'm baffled by how you're not partner yet. There's an easy answer for that, Jorniker. I'm not popular enough. Wah, wah. That's me wanning here, being like, I'm not popular. Oh well. <laughs> I have accepted my fate. Yo, get into the hole. Excellent. Uh, regular shotgun, huh? Might as well. Ah, oh, crap, I got the money for it too. All right, you savages, this is your time to shine. I have it, I bought it. Let's see if I can remember to use it. Remind me. Excuse me. You, you really can't go through that little hole? All right. Let's use the uh, regular shotgun. We got shotgun, regular shotgun, and sawed off shotgun, and huntsman shotgun. We got a lot of shotguns right now. I accept this. <laughs> it's easier to ignore 40 people's messages than 400s. Exactly, Tem! In Tennessee, how bitsy. I don't know what how bitsy is, but hello, welcome. And you're absolutely correct. <laughs> uh. Let's do this. We'll wait until we find another chest or key first because I have already forgotten whether or not I've uh, purchased the key from the shop. If 
if I haven't, let's go buy that. We have. All right, so we only have one key for the floor. We should make sure we open the best chest here. I love this room. <laughs> I love this room that you walk into it, you shoot one bullet, and then you kill two very annoying enemies. Okay, so this is a challenge room. Oh man, we actually do have to, uh, what? We actually do have to go through the mini boss in order to progress here. So that's highly unfortunate. Here we go. What's also unfortunate is that I kind of have to use this, oh, bad dodge, this gun or this gun, which actually isn't really unfortunate. I, I can use the, uh, the iron slug can in here, but the the range is a bit of a problem with it. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, got the map. We got uh, finished gun like usual, and also we have. Hasta la vista, goodbye. And the very last room of the floor is gonna be our target destination. You love to see it. Oh, might as well get ammo for anything. There's 250 ammo drops waiting for us. It's like, oh my god, what is with the ammo? <laughs> Enter the gungeon in a nutshell. You have runs where you have uh, essentially infinite ammo and then runs in which you are scrounging for pennies, for pittance. All right. I have one key. We're gonna open up this chest. Oh, no synergy. I was really hoping for the synergy there, but that's okay. Uh, let us, well, I mean, honestly, just go back to these guns. I'm not gonna use finish gun. Instead, I'll get myself killed and lose my flawless just by running into enemies the old fashioned way. I'm also immune to fire, I'm just remembering, so. Let's not worry so much of the fire on the ground here. Oh, good lord. Like that dodge? I don't, I'm scared. All right, I guess we're just gonna hold off on using anything but this gun. Are you dead yet? There we go, good lord. Abe remembered something. I remembered something that I was, uh, okay, I guess I did remember that I was immune to fire shortly after I dodged out of the fire thinking I was not immune to fire. So, <laughs> it took a minute, it took a minute, but I did remember, I did remember. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's refill. Are we full? Now, now we are. Let's get the heck out of here, I'm done with this floor. I'm done with you, oh, it's a mimic, of course. I forgot! <laughs> Here we are talking about how good I am at remembering things, not because I'm a freaking pro. All right. Heavy bullets is absurdly good. Just immediately forgot about the fact that, yo, everything's a freaking mimic now. Also, I didn't even remember this until I looked at, looked at the map, but I remembered! I remembered! Oh, but these bullets are so slow. I need something that's actually, you know, faster here, but I don't know what to grab. This is not necessarily faster bullets, but they're faster than the, the iron slug shot. Did you say cowabunga? How is that, like, farewell worthy? You know what I mean? Oh, don't aggro! Got him. The heck? Lumberjacked. <laughs> I'm lumberjacked if you know what I mean. Um, we done finally? I think we're done. Did we talk to this guy? Hey, I remember to come back to him at least. All right, I think now we're done. Dude, we picked up so many items on this floor. 
we're freaking rich. I mean, we we're literally rich. We have 244 credits, uh, but we're also like figuratively rich. You know what? I'm gonna dump this. I'm gonna dump this. Finish gun and sawed off shotgun. Business as usual around here. Snowballer. I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm not that upset about the snowballer. Kind of like it, really. Dun, 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 dun. Next thing, next thing you know, he will read a word in chat. Which word? Have you ever tried using the passive reload on Rad Gun during a boss fight so you don't lose the bonus? You do lose the bonus if you passive reload. It just doesn't look like you do. You lose most of the bonus, rather. Let's use, um, let's use Huntsman. It's a little bit of a curse, but not the like millions upon millions of curse that we get with Finish Gun, at least. The bullets are so slow. Help me, the bullets are so slow. Yoink. I play a lot of Gungeon, don't I? <laughs> I don't know why I say that like I'm, you know, being a little bit introspective of my life choice choices, like how did I get here? <laughs> Yo, die please, thank you. I mean, as long as, as long as people like it, I'm down. I'm down to spelunk, spelunkadunk. Fossilized gun. It's trash. No, maybe we should just use hegemony rifle. Honestly, the shots are are still relatively fast. We don't have to deal with like shotguns pushing enemies away quite as often. Man, I, I really need rocket powered bullets. I believe there's also a synergy that makes it so that uh, the, the slowdown from heavy bullets doesn't apply. It's like heavy bullets plus devolver gun or devolver bullets or something like that. So if I could get that, <coughs> Excuse me. If I could get that, that'd be really nice, because then I could just, uh, I could just, uh, you know, actually shoot my bullets appropriately, instead of them being really freaking slow. Because everything's all freaking slow. Why are these bullets so slow? These bullets are slow. All right, what do we want? This. Always big iron. Another amulet, oh my lord. Oh my lord, all right, well, time to, you know, aggro everybody. Hello. <laughs> um. Hi, guys. Here they come. I should not have done this, but it's fun. At the same time. Okay, we got the sling. We have the loot bag and the crueler glaive. And also, I thought I killed my past. Wrong gun. Again, how does he write that note when he's already dead? Answer me the, the riddle. Da -da 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 -da. Man, I aggroed all of them. Why not? <laughs> I'm crazy! That's basically like. That's, that's the last remaining shtick I have for Gungeon is, I'm just gonna do whatever, you know? I'll do the crazy stuff. I'll aggro all three mimics. It's crazy, man! <laughs> You'll never believe this! Yo, Shadow Clone. Shadow Clone, and you know what? Give me that glass guan stone. Bonk, 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 bonk. Sorry about that blob.
In another life, his twin brother is a super bounce. He's just getting bounced around the walls and my bullets. Okay, stop getting knocked back so much. I gotta actually, like, plan out my shots with the heavy bullet modifier. Slightly annoying, but we expect that. We do. Another blank. This has been a weird run for both blanks, ammo, and like decent weapons. Because our weapons have been pretty decent. Also, I have the ability to fly, so not forget about that. Like I just did! Got it. Got it. Glitch chest would be great if you'd aggro all the pedestals. So here's the here's the thing about that. I actually don't really have a choice when fighting glitch chests, because a glitch chest can aggro another glitch chest. So if if you have the the mimic tooth necklace, if there's just a lot of mimics in the glitch chest room, you're gonna be fighting like 12 glitch pedestals, and there's not a lot you can do about that. It's actually kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> and also kind of awful because then you're, at, you're you're having to fight all of those chests can the rat chest be mimics yes but mimic tooth necklace doesn't do anything with them in fact if you stick around you'll get to see oh if only had the club <laughs> if you stick around you will get to see what happens uh, I'm just gonna grab double vision instead of the this thing. Double vision's better. So, double vision it is! Double vision's better because then I don't have to worry about what my shadow is doing. Me and my shadow. Oh no! What are you gonna do? Oh no, not the books! A disposable account and 0020, welcome, how are you two doing today? Good to see ya. Right, also don't forget about COG. Whoa, easy there, buddy. Easy there, Turbo. Wah! Look, I have so many blanks, we can afford to use those. Oh, I missed my cog. Cog me, baby, one more time. Got him. Easy peasy. Oh, right, I forgot about you. <laughs> it's like, of course you're gonna be a mimic. What would you be? What else could you be? Get out of here. No one likes you. Contact immunity and another f very slow moving frost gun. Oh yeah. Oh, wait, there's a chest? Oh, of course. I almost, for almost forgot about it. Got the fat line. Very long reload, but this gun is actually like really good now. By now, I mean it is just really good, but now it's also really good. This is like, a, a, a very safe run. Lots of good guns, lots of good items. No complaints at all. Flight, fire immunity, contact immunity, good guns, good damage. Uh, just a ton of money from the get-go. We have the ability to open up every chest. Mimic pedestals are gonna give us double items. We're getting a lot of ammo drops, a lot of HP drops as well. It's just a very, very safe run. Gonna hit the rat? 
Apparently this gun does not target rats. <laughs> but you know what we have? Let's make sure we open that up before I spend my keys on something I shouldn't. Yo, there's a secret room right here. Told you. Kind of an unusual place for it, but I'm, I'm glad I saw the, uh, the texture right there. Indicating to me that that was gonna be a secret room. Dun, dun, dun. I smell a rat. I hope we smell a rat. That's what that's that's why we're here. Chance bullets. Yo! <laughs> that's a pretty good item. I'll accept it. I wonder how chance bullets works with uh, this gun. Oh, you you just fire bullets forward. Alright. We get, we get some bullets that go forward and some bullets that go backwards. I mean, it makes total sense. It's another one of you, huh? It's another one of you! Charge shot. Now that's a good gun to have with chance bullets. <laughs> I'll accept that. I will accept that. Abe the Wall Whisperer. Now that's, uh, that was that one run where I had like multiple wall mimics in the same run and they always freak me out and I'm like, oh God! Because I'm actually like a coward IRL. I'm a coward and I don't like wall mimics, surprising me. Oh, what a shot. What a shot, what a shot, what a mighty fine shot. This run is going like really quickly too. We're doing a lot. Oh, by the key. We're doing a lot. You know, we're uh, uh, going to all the bonus floors, but we're still like pretty well off on time. Is that a mahogany shot? I, I hear it bouncing. Dunk, dink, dunk, dink, dunk, dink, dunk. Does Abe have it? Mimic Tooth Necklace. You would know that if you were here. Jeez. 0020. It's like you don't even care about my streaming career or anything like that. Jorunker says, wait until you get the clone. Dude, I would love a clone! I do not remember the fat line firing in that way, says Quirk. Fat line fires from the wall to your gun. It always fi fires in reverse. So, it's kind of cool like that. Well, we're gonna blank this in a moment. And then we will move over to the... This is fine. And you're dead. <clears throat> dun, 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 dun. That I remember, it's just the loops it was doing earlier. The loops? The loops, the loops. The loops are on fire. I don't remember loops. I don't remember the loops. Or the boops. Um, are we done? Found the secret room. Get off of my, uh, my noose. We've done everything. We don't want the drill, really. Uh, we still have two blanks. Let's get the heck out of here. Da -da -da -da. Drunker says, rat, don't you dare forget. Don't you dare forget about what? We should leave and go down to the next floor, everybody. We're done here. Oh man. <laughs> oh. Keep coughing today. Got to do something with my uh, with my voice to to keep it from from getting this bad. Earlier this week I also had a a, a day I took a day off of streaming cuz I just wanted to rest my my voice cuz it felt like it was it was going to go to hell 
and then it just happened. Hey, get out of here. Right, right. No, 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 this is a down room. Down. Left. You still have double vision active. I want to get in here. One day I'll hit that cog of battle. Look, this gun reloads very quickly, okay? Up. Left. There we go. We're done. <laughs> Cinder Lens here, welcome. Gonna sleep earlier today, so you'll be leaving in a few minutes. Well, as as I always say, I'm glad that people at least stop in to say hello. That way I know that they, they're not forgetting about me. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's be honest, we probably don't need to always focus down that cog. Jesus. Got him? What? <laughs> I think the beam got him. I didn't even know I could hit the rat when he was uh, hovering over his cheese wheel. Don't forget to go down to the rat floor. I'm there right now, don't worry, I got it. I think I remembered. If I didn't, you just let me know. I'll make sure to go back and do it, okay? Oh my lord, that was an easy kill on that turret, or the missile drum rather. Oh, and I mistimed the dodge. How did that happen? Oh man, there goes my absolutely flawless, I totally didn't already take damage run. What the heck happened there? What hit me? BS, dungeon, BS, dodge roll. I don't have slower enemy bullets, do I? No. Oh, but I have a faster dodge roll! Ah! Chrissia, please welcome, how are you doing? Don't often watch, but you watch on YouTube? Well, hello YouTube, Chrissia, when you watch this video up on YouTube, like you do. Someone told me uh, like a trick for the rat, like every time you super punch, he punches you immediately and then you can use it to get five keys instead of six very quickly on the first phase of the rat fight. Something to that effect? And I said I might test it at some point. But this is just like the way that I've done it and I'm familiar and comfortable just waiting for the taunts. So that's why I'm, I'm just waiting for the taunts. <laughs> Cause it's easy. And the timing is quite easy when you uh, get used to it this much. Speedrun strat, just one star punch him over and over. Yeah, like, because apparently if you one star punch him, he'll immediately attack, and then you can use that to your advantage by knowing when to punch, counter punch, and then you can just combo the one star punches over and over again. Is that Helix Helix? That's pretty good. Also welcome, just a medic main, how you doing? Uh oh, I need you to heal. I need you to not die, please. Oh. Why duck? I'm an idiot. Still got him. You don't duck when he does the tail whip, you block. I got the wires crossed in my head. That was pretty close, he almost got away. Oh lord, what the heck? 
looks a little weird. <laughs> double, double helix. It's good. Dun, 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 dun. I also have like five blanks remaining after that fight. I should probably use them at some point, huh? Hey, Mimic friend. You know, we had a deal going on. Honestly, there's too many chests in here. Mimic Union spread a bit thin, a lot of irons in the fire. These chests just aren't up to code, can't deal with them. Basically, you gotta earn your, your, your keys here. I got my rat items though. I got them. I got them, hoo hoo! I'm the rat, hoo hoo! Hoo hoo! I don't know what I'm doing. Look, I said I was going crazy, I meant it. I'm going freaking crazy. I'm going insane! Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Oh, well, almost. A little, oh, a little over. A little, little over. Uh, it, it, oh, a little more. A little more. Hard to do this with helix bullets. Oh, that's uh, that's pine cone. Oh, oh, almost got him. Oh, hold on. Uh, almost. Just, just a second longer. Yeah. Hold. On. Okay, he's, he's stuck. He's stuck on the wall. Oh, got him. Good, good bounce. Hold on. Oh, perfect. Let's go. First try. Let's uh, let's dump this. And this. And this. I guess we're gonna do like everything <laughs> at this point. Who built these things? Everyone knows Gungeon Chests to use metric. You got a problem? He does say you mad. You got a problem. This is kind of inhumane. He doesn't deserve your sympathy. Just remember, okay? Just remember, the rat is a piece of trash and is is deserving of every fate that we can give him. So shoot his body. Torture him. Feed him to the serpent. It's all he's good for. Look in your heart, you know it to be true. Hey, it's a chest. With an A, oh. I had so many thoughts and feelings go through my head right there, because I picked up the AK, thinking it was gonna be good, and then I remembered that it had a synergy, and then I realized that I didn't want it to have a synergy, because that makes it a little bit worse. So then when it didn't have a synergy, I got very happy for like a millisecond, and then I realized that it not having a synergy meant it wasn't the AK, it was the JK, and then I got sad again. So I went from happy to sad to happy to sad. And it's unfortunate <laughs> that we have the JK, but at least it's something. Oh, F you, dude. We're gonna do it, but give me a minute first, okay? You know, I got I got other things to deal with. Like making sure I don't lose 355 gold! Or, you know, like 50 gold. Got it, okay. Lost one. What do we got? Sunlight Javelin and Rolling Eye. Might as well buy him. Sunlight Javelin's pretty good. I love I love that this thing kind of like zippers along the ground as you shoot it. <clears throat> oh, okay. But what's good about this is that it still does a lot of damage and we can get kills on multiple enemies if we are either lucky or good, one or the other. What's also good about this is that it's faster freezing with helix bullets. Freeze your enemies faster with helix! This is also interesting. Da -da 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 -da. Roll the bones. I will roll the bones. Don't worry about the bones. The bones will be rolled. These bullets are so hard to aim. <laughs> Cause they, they they home in, but then they also curve. I'll be honest, I didn't realize that bullets could do both. Also, upside down hat. Yaw. Oh. 
They still hit a lot of walls, though. <laughs> All right, maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll go back to like the fat line again, because that's been a pretty good gun for us. Got him! Spamming bullets works every time. Helix, double vision, scatter shot, table text, sight, helix gun. That would be a lot of bullets. I mean, we already have, you know, several uh, entries in that set. As long as I remember to use, you know, double vision. Look at all these bullets! All right, be careful. How come these bullets are so slow? <laughs> they don't, like the bullets, from Fatline can't even hit the enemies because by the time they home into their original position, they've like moved. Look at these bullets, they're so slow. <laughs> hold on, oh my God, hold on, I broke the gun. There we go, there we go, there we go. All right, that was a pretty good chance shot. You got heavy bullets. I do have heavy bullets, yes. It's just, you know, the bullets are real slow. <laughs> I stand by that the bullets are still slow. It's not, I'm wondering why the bullets are slow. It's more like, I, I, I see that the bullets aren't hitting their targets correctly because by the time the bullets reach their destination, the enemy's already moved and I'm like, damn it, heavy bullets. <laughs> Very good gun for this room. We have a lot of blanks, good lord. A lot of blanks, a lot of money, so many things that I really don't want to interact with that uh, chance shrine for, but we're still gonna interact with the chance shrine, just not now. Oh my god, we got duct tape. All right, everybody, I need you to think about what's a good duct tape combination with the guns that I have. So many times recently I've had bad duct tape combinations. This is not one of those times. We're gonna think about it. We're gonna get the best duct tape combination you, you've ever seen, and it'll be right here. What are we gonna duct tape? <laughs> Let's fight the boss first. Charge shot plus anything says Verdacula. Nah, it's too slow, actually. I think. Like, we could do charge shot, but if I do charge shot, then without using uh, flame hand, I'm just making like one super charge gun. So I would need something else that also does charge weaponry. That's fine. Take a moment, do the reload, pop a blank, get out of here. Charge shot, fat line. That doesn't really help at all. Helix he hegemony for laser show. I don't have the synergy hegemony. It's just like that hegemony. So it would just be like, you know, standard curving bullets without really doing anything else. Now what about this? Uh, 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 Helix and Rubidine? Mm, no, this fires way too quickly. What about... Was that not a Mimic Pedestal? No, there's no Mimic Pedestal on the Wallmonger fight, unfortunately. Yeah, okay, we got a couple of things to do first. Let's let let's think about this. We don't want fossilized gun, so let's do the, oh, but I don't want to lose my money. <laughs> Javelin charge shot, that's what I was thinking. Um, so, so let's do the duct tape first. If we do javelin charge shot, 
We'd have one fast bullet and then one slow bullet that also bounces around. I don't know about that one. Cruder Glaive is like really cool and weird and slow. There they go. They're still going. Um, we have shotguns. A couple of shotguns. Life orb. <laughs> if we really got, want to go down that route. Triple crossbow, JK. We could we could attach something to the JK to give it a lot of ammo. Like JK Void Core Cannon. Dun, dun. You could just hold the tape. Yeah, but we could we don't oh you know what? You are literally correct. We can just hold the duct tape. So I'm gonna buy everything. Cause I I have <laughs> I have the capability of just holding on to it. So then we'll do this. Disarmed plus reloaded. So it took it took my gun, that's why I selected the fossilized gun, and then it gave me full ammo. So that was not a very good payout, but at least we didn't lose anything important. Then we'll go here and we will dump the life orb. We will dump the JK. We will dump. Let's dump the stone dome. I don't see myself using it. Let's also dump. I don't see myself using the sling. Mm, no, so let's get rid of that one. Uh, I really don't see myself using shock rifle. We can probably get rid of that one. Uh, I don't see myself using crestfaller. And then the rest of this we'll, we'll keep. Do I see myself using the shot grub? Not really, let's dump that too. All right, and then let's get rid of this, as long as we're done with all this other stuff, with it, which I think we are. Or I think we're gonna keep the rest of it. Tentacle Void Core could be cool. Tentacle has instant reload. The tentacle has an instant reload, but the tentacle also has 500 ammo in the clip, so there's no available ammunition uh, in addition to the Void Core cannon. So I don't think that's a very good combination. You know, if we do that duct tape, then what would we be getting out of it? We'd be getting a void core cannon that has a, an instantaneous reload, but it still doesn't have like any additional ammo. In fact, it would probably lose ammo in the long run, I think. I'm, I'm always a bit wary about trying to be a, a declarative source on how that functions, because I, I feel like I always get it wrong. But I'm pretty sure in this case, that's not the duct tape you're looking for. Helix plus triple crossbow. If you do that, what you can do is you can duct tape uh, one of the forms of triple crossbow onto another gun, and that way it won't change forms anymore. So we could put triple crossbows, slow bullets, or the triple crossbow, crossbow bolts, on another gun. If we really want those. I just realized something. This guy fires uh, three sets of three bullets. That's the same attack from the Trigger Twins. Is this is this where the Trigger Twins' parents work? Are the Trigger Twins just like kids that have made their way into the into the dungeon? They're like, I'm Smiles and I'm Shades. We're cool kids. Maybe they're just like cringe in the Bulletkin universe. That's why they've been, you know, sent to the dungeon. I don't know. Dun, 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 dun. It's the last trigger trip. Trigger triplet. Who has a job? He decided he wanted to leave the the trigger twin gang, or the the trigger twiplet. <laughs> the trigger twitlet gang gang. <laughs> so he went to like get an actual desk job. But the, but there's all there's there's two different large bulletkins. So it's a trigger quadruplet. Would have to be. We're the TQs, man. 
You changed, man, ever since you got a job. <laughs> Twiplet, yeah. <laughs> Look, it's a bit of a tongue twister, okay? Twung twister. Oh yeah, I forgot. Let's get you stuck. Let's get you stuck and then just, you know. Nice shot. I'll kill you. I ah! I forgot you can like still do one attack. All right, I don't think double vision is really helping us here. You know what? Air sharks. The most deadly of sharks. I guess they don't really have any homing characteristics, huh? <laughs> well, sorry, sharks. Whatever. They're trying. Oh, I got one. They're bouncing. Zemkin says, what are we playing today? Darkest Dungeon, FTL, or going back to Monolith for Loop 100? Do you know how long it took me to get to Loop 50? Probably took me like, you know, 50 plus runs. Um, you want me to go back and get to Loop 100? You masochist, I hate you, Zemkin, even for the, just the suggestion that that's something that should be done. No, 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 no. Yeah, get away from me. Get him, Sky Shark. <laughs> I love these Sky Sharks. All right, you are still gonna be a mimic. I gotta get you before the sharks do. Oh right, I forgot about you too. Get him, sharks. Contact immunity, balloon gun. And, I guess we'll take this for this. Fredekula says, Monolith was a lot of fun, love watching that relic of the past. That DLC is, comparatively to the base game, it's, I think it's one of the best DLCs ever, because like the, the type of content that it adds in and the quality of it is just insanely good. If the monolith, if team uh, 117 or whatever the heck they're called want a, a, a paid endorsement, I will give you quality quotes that you can put on the back of the box. That game is a blast. We still have duct tape, right? <laughs> I haven't. I, I haven't dropped it off accidentally. Sold it. I think we still got it. Here's my plan. My plan is that we're going to get gun a gun from this floor. We're gonna go to the shop, see what's in the shop, and then we're gonna decide on a a duct tape. You know, there's a small chance that maybe we could even buy Flame Hand, and that would be a hell of sweet. I don't know if he would have enough damage to, to break the cap, but, you know, that's how we're gonna do it on this run at this point. Zilla shotgun. That's not bad, but it is kind of awful. What was I using? Where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? I still have a lot of guns. I sold a lot of guns, still have too many guns. If that can even be a thing that can happen. I should finish RimWorld. Eh, I've I've fallen out of favor with that game. I don't think I'll I'll play RimWorld. I think I'll I'll pass. Hmm. <laughs> now you got me thinking. These are some some pretty good guns. Oh, look at that! It's beautiful, beautiful. What could we duct tape Moon Scraper with? We need a better gun. 
Don't say Megadow, sir. Can't lag my computer. Um, what could we duct tape Moonscraper with? We have no. Well, we do have Abyssal Tentacle. It's not really the best duct tape possibility, but you know, it's something that we could do. Um, I don't know what I'm doing here. I already selected my gun. That was such a bad dodge. <laughs> Just completely the wrong moment to dodge. Moonscraper sharks. Except, it's one's a charge gun, one's not a charge gun. It doesn't work right. In fact, one's, one's not even a charge gun. It's, it's a beam and a charge gun, which is worse. It would not make a good duct taping. The tentacle is at least another beam weapon, but... I still don't think it'll be that good of a duct tape combination. But we still have another chest, so let's, uh... Let's not worry about it. We're gonna get another gun, at least. Maybe we can even find a couple more chests, you know? You never know. Gotcha. Megadasser sharks. Again, you guys are seem to not understand the concept of a good duct tape. <laughs> and no, you can't duct tape Casey. Before you even suggest it, you cannot duct tape Casey to anything. It doesn't work. It doesn't let you. And I, I'm already seeing Casey in chat. <laughs> Wasn't Sling with Charge Shot good? No. Flame Hand is the uh, the combination with Sling and Charge Shot, if you can make it work. I did ask a while ago what makes a good duct tape target, says GT Quirk. You did say that. You did say that. Before we even were thinking really about future duct tape possibilities. Uh. And I'll be honest with you, it's hard to determine what makes a good duct tape combination because there's so many edge cases. There's so many cases of this doesn't work well because of minor differences between the weapons. So a lot of it is just kind of a little bit of experience and kind of knowing uh, innately what makes a good combination. Because you have to consider the types of guns, whether it's a uh, a, a tap shoot gun, an auto fire gun, a burst gun will even uh, affect the output of the of the duct tape. A charge gun, how much ammo is in the clip, how much ammo is in each gun. Modif modifiers on the uh, on the guns themselves. We should do this though. We should look for something good. We don't need a shotgun full of love. Alien engine moon scraper says for Dacula. Yeah, that'll work. Um, let's also duct tape the. Stuck tape the Zilla shotgun. Why not? We're not going to use this. The charge shot from the Zilla shotgun could be interesting, but not. It doesn't help for duct taping, really. I don't think. Well, maybe we got third-party controller, which is just trash. So we'll uh, never use this gun ever. You know what? We're just gonna yoink. <laughs> Oops! I dropped it. It broke. I threw it across the room, and it's gone forever. Oh no! What have I done? Goodbye. I guess it's not gone forever, cause like it's my gun, and I am the rat. I'm the rat. Hey. I don't know why I'm not freezing these, cause like it's the whole point of having freeze guns. Molotov launcher. Eh. No, no, no. Let's see. Yeah, uh, Rubidine. We're done. We're done with the floor. All right. So this is our run. So let's think about our duct taping. Um, what would make a good duct tape target? You got to be careful with triple crossbow because it changes forms. You don't want it to be the second gun in the duct tape. You want it to be the first gun in the duct tape. Compressed air tank is a quick charge gun with a lot of ammo, so we could put this on something that uh, doesn't use a lot of ammo, and then we, we could get more sharks out of it. Mega Dowser doesn't use a lot of ammo, so, you know, that would give us a lot of sharks. 
But the sharks don't seem to home properly. Uh, double shotguns is always good. Instant reload charge shot has been fun before, says Verdacula. Except charge shot has a long charge time on it. So even if it instantly reloads, it already reloads very quickly. Instant reloading doesn't really matter with that gun. Void core cannon is a very interesting gun because it's an explosive homing rocket launcher that fires when you tap the button. So that could be a good duct tape target with like a mega dowser. Except for a, an aforementioned problem, which is that Mega Dowser has 900 ammo in the clip, and so ex excess ammo is not going to go into the Void Core cannon. You could do something with like the Molotov launcher, but you would only get like an extra 30 shots into Void Core cannon. You know what you could do is actually Void Core cannon alien engine. Because it reloads, well, it doesn't reload that quickly, but alien engine only has 500 ammo in it which means that there's 500 ammo available for another gun. So you could alien engine void core cannon and then get a lot of bullets out of void core cannon. So that's a possibility right there. Um, Moonscraper is a beam weapon, which would be, you know, in theory pretty good with something like uh, Abyssal Tentacle, but Abyssal Tentacle is just wonky with its damage output anyways. Um, let's see, let's see. Mega Dowser doesn't really matter at all. Freezes, I guess. Abyssal Tentacle also uses a lot of ammo very quickly. Um, close your eyes and duct tape something. Well, no, cause like really, really there's only a couple of, of options for duct taping, I think. If we're thinking about what's a good duct tape option, I think what you gotta do is you gotta say, Void Core Cannon onto Alien Engine. And then... Oh crap, Alien Engine Burst fires now. What did I tell you about how Burst affects the duct tape? Because <laughs> now I fire an auto-fire burst of, of shots and I get pushed back really hard now. Oh lord, I screwed, I kind of screwed it up a little bit, I think. <laughs> we do have a lot of ammo at least, but every time I pull the trigger, I actually get thrown backwards. And I have to reload manually between every shot. Ah! On the bright side. Oh, you know what? There's also a problem with this, which is that I'm only getting uh, one shot out of helix bullets. I'm not getting two shots out of helix bullets because of the duct tape. So this is like actually awful. I don't know why I did that dodge. Obviously that one's not gonna work. <laughs> this is stupid. This is highly dumb. Why, where'd my gun go? I need, I need this. It's my gun. I chose it. But yes, oh damn, oh dodge roll. Um, but yeah, because I fire in a burst, now the alien engine fires in burst and I get knocked back really quickly. This too, I freaking hate these dodge roll modifiers, dude. Okay, this is Moon Scraper's territory. I gotta stop taking uh, Red Guanstone. It's actually awful. That was just me, I think I just dodged incorrectly, but like, oh, I hate these dodge ups. I'm also, oh my god, <laughs> that was Alien Engine. I'm all, maybe it's Alien Engine that's screwing up my dodges to a small extent, I don't know. I'm almost like out of ammo with, for the duct tape too. Yep, I'm out of ammo. 
Well, I mean... I can do a very small amount of damage very slowly. All right, let's just do this. It's another one for the history book. History book. History books. Another instance of the world's worst duct tape. It always happens to me, doesn't it? <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> oh god. Do you have less iframes with a faster dodge roll? Yes, actually, Solder J. Because you dodge faster. You have fewer iframes, and uh, it also dodges, it doesn't take as long to dodge, so you land faster, so it, it really interrupts my uh, ability to fundamentally recognize how much invulnerability I have during my dodges. Well, that was awful. <laughs> oh my lord, that was awful. What a, what a garbage duct tape. It would it would have been oh, it would work if it didn't auto burst the uh, the alien engine because then it would have a, a lot of ammo specifically for the uh, the void core cannon. What if there was a uh, a mod that changed it so that if you use duct tape, you can unduct tape. Like, it would just let you uh, take the duct tape out of the, take the guns out of the duct tape and you get the duct tape back. But it would be like, less sticky duct tape and I'd have a chance of failing. <laughs> How about that? Would that be okay? Oh, Because I just want to go back. I want to go back in time! I want to shoot my own past! Fix what is wrong! Got him. I think. Nope, oh, you're still alive. Just a shark rolling around. That shark works because it was a uh, chance bullet shark, not a helix bullet shark. So I think that's why the homing looked like it was working correctly there. We good? We're good. Oh, we're good, but it's a big room. Hey, get out of here. And what would you tape? What would I retape? I don't know. I would just like to have void core cannon, I think. <laughs> I wouldn't need to tape anything. I would just not tape what I taped. Because it's not that not the best. You know what? One of you can have that, one of you can have this. There you go. And then what are we gonna use? What the heck are we gonna use? I don't know. Cruller Glaive is actually like not half bad at all. But again, like it doesn't home properly. Bounces around a lot. It's one of those situations where, like, we had um, we had Stone Dome earlier, right? Stone Dome was homing correctly. Cruller Glaive is supposed to home, but it doesn't home correctly. Like, why, why do these guns that seemingly have the same properties, homing, not work properly? With Helix Bullets, it must just be, like, different code for homing. Like, they must home differently. And I guess they do home differently. You know, Cruller Glaive, it only homes in on uh, the enemy closest to, like, the cursor when you shoot it. But the Stone Dome shots, they'll just home in on whatever enemy is close. So, uh, it must be something where, like, the Sharks, Cruller Glaive, you know, their homing doesn't work with Helix Bullets, but some other homing works with Helix Bullets, namely things like homing shots, the crutch, uh, 
as we saw earlier, the uh, the stone dome. And there must be other weapons that have homing that would work properly. But Cruller Glaive is basically just fire and forget <laughs> and hope that it hits something. And then it'll bounce around a lot, which is kind of nice. You know, I, I don't mind the bouncing. You just gotta kind of hope that it's bouncing in a way that's good for you, though. And I'm not really using the... Uh, I'm not really using the... Uh, cog of battle at all, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> My apologies on that one. What would, what would Cruller Glaive Mahogany give you? Um, if you duct taped it? Uh, it would give me a Mahogany that has, like, ten bullets, and a Cruller Glaive that has one bullet, and I would only fire one Cruller Glaive until I reloaded manually. So it would be slightly annoying to work with. Whatever, get him, sharks. You got him. Da -da -da -da. Maybe it would sound cool? I mean, mahogany just sounds cool, so, you know, you got me there. As I immediately go back to the sharks. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I should probably use d more double vision, too. Yeah, you're not gonna get me up here? Space sharks. Space sharks, sky sharks, we're getting all the sharks today. Look at this. Have some space sharks. Remember earlier how I said that this was like, we're making good time on this run? Yeah, that's changed. <laughs> An hour, 20 minutes into a single Gungeon run, we did every floor. We, we screwed up duct tape, we've done everything. We've hit all of the, all of the check boxes. Gungeon Bingo has been successful today. Oh God. <laughs> oh no, it's stuck, get out! Where are you? Oh god, get out of here. A shark got him, beautiful. Well, that was one hell of a run. Um, yeah, you got him, good job. You, you got him, ground shark. It was one hell of a run. Uh, no clone though, no clone. One day we'll get the clone. So, check mark your, your Gungeon Bingo. All bonus floors. <laughs> bad duct tape combination and a relatively safe run because from the beginning we just had like a ton of good stuff. I mean I guess literally on floor one we picked up golden junk and we had 500 bucks to spend however we wanted so turns out 2300 gold is a lot of money. Ton of items, lots of goodness, good run, bad duct tape. And for those of you on YouTube thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live, support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Enter the Gungeon.